The All-Stars were announced on Thursday, which means it's time to complain about the All-Stars that were announced on Thursday. We're going to go through the good, the bad, and who got snubbed in this year's game. Starting in the Eastern Conference for the good, Drew Holiday, Kyrie Irving, and Paul George, three young players making their first appearance in an All-Star game. This is great. These guys are going to be fixtures in this game for years to come, and it gives the East a much-needed jolt of athleticism and youth. For the bad, I'm not knocking their credentials, but Tyson Chandler, Joe Noah, Lou Aldang, three defensive-minded players, which is not really what you're looking for in an all-star game. Still, all those guys have had, have had terrific seasons. I've got no problem with them being there. It just may, may not make for the most exciting game. For the snub, Brooke Lopez, Brooklyn Nets, completely stands out. Everyone wants to talk about his per. Everyone wants to talk about his advanced numbers. Here's the easiest number to understand about Brooke Lopez. The Nets are 24 and 11 when he plays. When he plays, they're the second or third best team in the Eastern Conference. When he doesn't, they've had some problems. Brooke Lopez, to me, was the biggest snub in the East. Out West, here's the good. Look at your backup backcourt. James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Tony Parker. That's absurd. That's completely absurd for your reserves as, as, as the backup backcourt. The bad, I'm sorry, LaMarcus Aldridge, an all-star? Yeah, I'm not buying that one. And for the snubs, there are two that really stand in mind. Steph Curry, to me, was the biggest snub out West and, and the easily replacing LaMarcus Aldridge. But then you have the Memphis Grizzlies situation. Zebo or Marcus Saul? Zebo or Marcus Saul? I think you can make a case for both of those guys. I just think Marcus Saul has been the best defensive player in the league. And so if you're going to pick one or the other, I would have gone with Marcus Saul. So there's your All-Stars for this year. Not a lot to complain about. A handful of snubs here or there. Some nice, young, exciting players getting in for the first time. Should be fun. We'll see you in Houston.